looking for love? Of course you are. Then listen up. There are surefire ways to ruin it all. What are the do's and the don'ts? We've got some solid love advice from our experts coming up. 24 minutes after the hour, it's one of the surefire ways to relationship disaster. A new survey finds that 50% of Americans will steer clear of someone if they talk too much about their ex. So if you want to get off on the right foot, what topics are okay to talk about on first dates and which ones should be avoided? Joining us now, Fox 411 contributor Diana Falzone and dating coach John Keegan. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Um, okay, so first dates. John, we'll start with you. What's yeah. okay? What's okay is a talk about your interests and passions. You know, what you're into. You don't need to be a maniac. You don't need to be Tony Robbins, but you want to be able to share uh, what you love to do, uh, uh, what your point of view of the world is, and you want to keep it positive. And, and what do you think? I mean, you want to talk about your family, I imagine. Yes. You want to keep neutral topics. Nothing okay. that's going to divide anyone. So upbeat light because you're presenting your best self here. You don't want to bring, you don't want to be Debbie Downer and make the person snooze or right. go, why am I here? Well, a lot of people find <laughs> their identity in their job. Is that a, a good topic to talk about or is it is it too much? Well, I mean, it's fun, especially if you have a really interesting job. It's great to share about it. But a lot of times it becomes over like too, too, too boring. You want to be able to be like, what? Who am I going to be with you? I'm not going to be at your job. I'm going to be going to dinner with you. I'm going to be traveling with you. I'm going to be in the park with you. Yeah. So you want to get more into these kind yeah. of things. Don't give your resume. Right. Yeah, that can, that can be a snooze fest too, can it? It can. Um, okay, some of the things that we don't want to talk about. We mentioned our ex because 50% of people say that if you talk too much about your ex, you're getting Done. kicked to the curb quickly. Right. What else should we not be talking about, Diana? Oh, gosh, there's so much. Dividing topics, religion, politics, that will come out later. But just see if you like each other as people first. Because hmm. remember, dating is about romance. So many people think it's about really giving a resume. You're looking for a life partner, possibly. But you don't have to lose the element of falling for one another. OK, but John, what if something is a deal breaker? What if you are hardcore Democrat or liberal, <laughs> right. or, yeah, or yeah, Democrat yeah. or conservative, rather? And you, you know, that's a deal breaker for you. Or your religion, you know, you're, you're Jewish, and I'm not marrying somebody who's not do it. I mean, should you yeah. talk about it if it's deal breaker? Well, well, that's an interesting thing because that's happened to me many times. But I think, like, you can find out, like Diana just said, do I like this person as a person? Because extreme points of view really block us from getting to know each other. Mm -hmm. So it's like, let's find that out, and maybe we'll end up breaking these rules anyway. But if you're someone who's just really uh, stuck in an old kind of, uh, you know, sort of old traditional way, then you should you should only be dating within your circles. So for the most part, you two agree on everything we've talked about, except for one thing: how mm -hmm. long do you wait to text or call? Diana, go. Okay. Uh, being the woman, I would have to say that if someone really likes me, I want to get a text. I want to get a call saying I had a good time, even if it's directly after the date. But John? Well, that's if being a man. What we what we learn is is that uh, we get a, we get <laughs> some really negative feedback on that. And one is is the woman's uh, kind of a lot of women will just be like, oh, I'm, this guy uh, he wants me too much. I'm on to the next thing. Yep. Or he's being too needy and it's a little scary. So it's better for a guy to give it a little space, build a little tension for the woman, not wait too long, but maybe. Maybe a day or two, which is in that, you know, just in, it's not like a disrespectful realm. And real quickly, you guys also say that uh, when you get somebody's phone number, you shouldn't text them too much initially before the first day. Right. Once again, TMI. You just want to make plans. You yes. want to find out where you're meeting and maybe a hi, how are you? And that's it. A confirmation if you're going out the next day and then leave it be because you will fall into that slippery slope of what we're talking about. Too much information. Yeah. That just sets something up. Guys, thank yep. you so yeah, much. Thank, thank you. John and Diana. Great. Yeah. Great.